Tell me about it. Good evening. Welcome to the Raleigh Board of Selectmen meeting for Monday, June 5th, 2017, 7 p.m. at the Town Hall on Main Street in Raleigh. I'll call the meeting to order. The first order of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Christopher, would you lead us, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. On the agenda tonight, we have a 7 p.m. appointment uh, with an Eagle, Foreign Eagle Scout proclamation. Uh, we have seven citizens' queries, 710 to 715. Then we have a 715 appointment uh, on a dealer's license. And then uh, we have some general business and some budget transfers, old business and new business. So we'll get right to our 7 o'clock appointment. We have an Eagle Scout proclamation presentation to Christopher John Trotter. And if you'll bear with me. The board will need to vote to allow Chairman Joe Perry to sign the proclamation. Dear friend in scouting, Boy Scout Troop, uh, number 15 of Raleigh, Massachusetts is proud to announce that Christopher John Trotter? Trotter. Yep. has achieved the rank of Eagle Scout as of May 2nd, 2017. I understand that you have responded in the past to such achievements through some form of recognition. Any communication from you would be presented as his, at his Eagle Award ceremony. I would appreciate any action on your part in showing support for this young man. Please send such correspondence to George Pachanka, so Scoutmaster. Thank you. Proclamation. We, the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Raleigh, Massachusetts, by virtue of the authority vested in us by the people of Raleigh as elected officials, do hereby proclaim that Christopher John Trotter, having completed the requirements for and having been examined by an Eagle Scout Board of Review, was found worthy of the rank of Eagle Scout. We urge all citizens of the Town of Raleigh, its community leaders, businesses, and government officials to recognize this achievement and service. In witness whereof, I have hereby set my hand and seal of the town of Raleigh this 5th day of June, 2017. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to allow me to sign the proclamation. All those in favor say aye. 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 did a project for the Conservation Commission. Uh, he made some of the uh, new kiosks that's up on the... Uh, uh, Dodge Reservation. Yeah, the Dodge Reservation. Oh, the yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw it's, that. That was yes, very well done. Very, very nice Very job. well done. It's, it'll last quite a while. Um, you know, it, it took a lot of work. A lot of boys had to help him. Mm -hmm. And you can see that he had to do some finagling to get that thing in there and, and yeah. it was it was huge i mean it was unbelievable you had to get a vehicle to get the thing in there wow, wow. So, yeah did a nice job very thank very you. nice very thank, thank you very much thank you congratulations george how many is this now well by the end of the year we'll have 67 he's number 65. Wow. there's two wow. more coming that's incredible absolutely incredible yeah. You want to do a photo? Uh,
Pick another one if you want. Yeah, I'll take another one. Someone, someone's going to blink. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Okay. Great. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, you do all the work. Right, right, I just stand around. <laughs> <laughs> you join a long line of Eagle Scouts. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. They're yes. pretty impressive. Okay, yep. thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, thanks, thanks Josh. Thank you, Thank you, Al. Okay. We have a 7.15 appointment coming up. In a few minutes, we'll go to general business. General business, we have a letter of resignation from Tina Zortzis from the Open Space Committee. This will be effective immediately to the Board of Selectmen. This email serves as a notification that I will be leaving the OSC, the Open Space Committee, to serve on the school committee. I've enjoyed serving on the OSC and will continue to be an advocate for Raleigh's open space and conservation. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to do so. All the best, Tina Zortzis. Give me a motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Send a letter of Thanking Tina for her service. All those in favor say aye. 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 General business number two to the Raleigh Board of Selectmen. The members of Raleigh First Baptist Church invite you to share with us as we welcome Charles Bordenaro as full time pastor of our church. A service of installation will be held at our church on Saturday, June 10th at 11 a.m. A luncheon will follow, providing an informal opportunity to meet Pastor Bordenaro. We are excited about the future ministry of our church under the leadership of Pastor Bordenaro and his wife Donna. We hope you can join us as we welcome them to our church and to the community. Sincerely, Wilfred C. Budd, Chairman of the Deacon Board. Send them a letter just welcoming to the community and uh, on behalf of the board of selectmen, will that be appropriate? I think it would. Give me sure. a motion for that, Mr. Chairman. Motion has been made. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to send a letter welcoming Pastor uh, Bud Narrow and his wife to the town. All those in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Chairman, will anybody from the board be attending? Um, I can't wait. We, so we need to RSVP, that's all. Right. I will. Okay. I won't. Bob? No, I'm not going to be able to make it, Joe. Okay. We have general business number three. We have a re request from the Board of Cemetery Commissioners to appoint Eric Gibbons as seasonal laborer. Board of Cemetery Commissioners request that the Board of Se Selectmen vote to appoint Eric Gibbons to the position of seasonal laborer. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to appoint Eric, Eric Gibbons as seasonal laborer. All those in favor say aye. 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 Excuse aye. myself. Citizens Ferry is now open. And we'll go on to general business number four. We have a request from Highway Surveyor Patrick Snow to lift the hiring freeze for two seasonal laborers. Highway Surveyor Patrick Snow has asked the Board of Selectmen to lift the hiring freeze so that he can fill two seasonal laborer positions. This is a motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. The motion has been made and seconded to report, uh, give request to lift the hiring freeze. All those in favor say aye. 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 And that completes our general business. We have, but uh, let's see, budget transfers. Yep. 
ok we have a fiscal year seventeen budget transfer under mass general laws chapter forty four section thirty three b section b sub b transfer amount four hundred forty five dollars date six one seventeen transfer from account num name tax title taking line thirty two account number zero one dash one five eight dash five three zero one dash zero zero two balance before transfer one thousand two hundred eighty two dollars and fifty cents transfer to account name administration assistant wages line thirty account number zero one dash one four five dash five one one three dash zero zero two balance before transfer one thousand one hundred one hundred eighty six dollars and ninety two cents the administrative assistant slash assistant collector covers for treasurer assistant collector during meetings sick and vacation this was not budgeted for in fiscal year 17 budget requested by Karen Summit second motion has been made and seconded to approve the transfer all those in favor say aye aye aye, aye. okay we have under old business we have an update on the Triton Regional Agreement and uh, <laughs> the only reason why I'm smiling is that uh, I'm on two subcommittees uh, I'm on the landlord tenant uh, subcommittee for the uh, uh, Triton Regional Agreement and we have met uh, uh, Neil Harrington from Salisbury and uh, I can't think of her name from Newbury. Who's the uh, <laughs> town administrator? Tracy Blaze. Tracy, Tracy Blaze and myself uh, have met uh, twice and we'll be meeting, uh, uh, have a few more meetings scheduled uh, to uh, see if we can work out an agreement on the uh, landlord tenant agreement. And uh, we're also talking, uh, trying to set up a meeting, but we uh, have not uh, started yet on the uh, formula for the funding of the uh, school assessment. So that's still to come. We have uh, Pine Grove School update and uh, for old business number two. And I was in Boston last Tuesday. And we had an interesting meeting, very, very good meeting as far as I was concerned. And the MSBA agreed that uh, uh, everything was flowing along, that where the town had already uh, voted for the appropriation, that uh, they, uh, the council was going to recommend to the uh, MSBA board on, for their June 28th meeting that they vote to uh, approve our participation uh, in the uh, school funding grant program and so uh, they expected that to go well uh, we were talking to our uh, architects in the OPM and they expected the uh, funding agreement to come through in one to two months after that and the MSBA said it will take two weeks so we expect it two weeks after the June 28th meeting Excellent. the only hitch <laughs> there are always, no, always, always a hitch and I was reading the uh, uh, notice from the MSBA that they sent out to uh, uh, the committee and to the uh, uh, Doran Whittier, our architects in the OPM. And they are funding, they are setting up the agreement with the Triton Regional District. And I immediately saw that and I notified. Uh, a member of uh, Panking Company Incorporated, Larry, I can't think of Larry's last name, but uh, to correct that, that it was with the town of Raleigh and not with the Triton Regional District. But I'm sure that's just, yeah, just a, mm -hmm. a form. Thing. But uh, yes, t Tom Mullen is involved with that. In, uh, Tom Mullen's involved right on writing the bridge agreement. Um, right. So based on the good news that the chairman received from MSBA, um, they, they confirmed that they will be reimbursing uh, 
the town for any of the architectural work that needs to be done now prior to the execution of the project funding agreement. Right. So um, that was an important concern for uh, the town council. And apparently at the meeting, Joe was informed. So he is drafting this bridge agreement. Um, and we'll get that over as soon as he writes it to to uh, review by uh, the architecture attorneys and then have it sent back to the selectmen for review. Great. Yeah, we had some concern because uh, the agree uh, the uh, vote hasn't been taken by the right. MSBA board. It won't be until the 28th. But uh, Dora and Woody are, are working on the project as yeah. we speak. And so what we have to do a funding agreement and uh, uh, the uh, MSBA fully agreed that that was uh, reimbursable. Time is money. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, Citizen Square has ended. Uh, we have a 715 appointment with Salvatore Lafauci, President of Auto close. Auto Pro Collision Corp. 266 Havel Street to request the reissuance of the Class 2 dealer's license to Auto Pro Collision. Okay, Salvatore A. Lafauci has purchased the Auto Pro Collision Center business located at 266 Havel Street from Philip S. Mumley. The Board of Selectmen needs to reissue the Class 2 dealer's license with his name on it. He has provided a complete application, workers' compensation certificate, the $200 fee, and a copy of his $25,000 bond in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 140, Section 58, from a surety company licensed to do business in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Also, the Board of Selectmen needs to vote to sign and send Mr. LaFauci the enclosed letter which he will need to provide to the State Department of Transportation Registry of Motor Vehicles. Mr. LaFauci needs to turn in the existing Class 2 license once the new license is issued to him. So that's Mr. Yes, yes, on this. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Anything I actually like have a to, copy of the order. Anything you'd like to say in support of your uh, application? Um, the, the, <laughs> I actually got thrown into it. Uh, Phil had passed away right. tragically. Yeah. I'm sure you guys all know. Yeah, oh. a tragic accident there. Yeah, right? a snowmobile. Yeah. So I ended up purchasing it from his wife, mm -hmm. keeping the business going. Oh. Yeah. I think it's been a pretty good, pretty well run business. Yeah, so has been forward yeah. to having uh, you, you do the same. And, yeah. uh, Work out well. And Sal's been there seven years yeah. to this point. So. Oh, okay. You work. You work with him. Yeah, for seven oh. years. I've been. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, very good. Give me the motion, Mr. Chairman. I'll second. Motion has been made and seconded to reissue the Class Two dealer's license uh, with Mr. Lafauci's name on it. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. And we need to vote and send Mr. Lafauci the enclosed letter. I need a separate motion. I'll, I'll give you a motion, Mr. Chairman. I'll second. Motion has been made and seconded to send the letter with, so that you can take it to the uh, <coughs> registry. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you again. Thank you. I do have the original one. Time. Yeah, good luck. Thank you very much. Sorry you had to get the business that way. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Well, he has the. You want to send pepper? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I. Yeah. I'll stay. <laughs> 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 we might change our minds. Right, right. yeah. Should I sign it? Yep. Yeah, you only have to sign the license, I sign the letter.
Hey, we will make coffee. You should make your coffee. Okay. You're all set. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Good luck. Our 7.30 appointment has canceled, so uh, we will go on to new business. New business number one, performance appraisal form. The Personnel Advisory Committee, PAC, has developed a new employee performance appraisal form. This new form will replace the current form and provides a better rating system and adds a few new evaluation <coughs> categories. The PAC believes that the new appraisal form will provide department heads, supervisors, or supervisory boards with a much improved performance evaluation tool. The form was designed so that it can be used to evaluate the performance of varying job positions. The PAC seeks your approval of this form prior to releasing it to department heads, supervisors, and supervisory boards. If you have any questions, please contact me in closure, Town of Raleigh, Personnel Department, and please praise you. Appraisal form. Hey, Mr. Chairman, uh, Ms. Egan is the personnel officer. We've been working on this form as well as trying to formalize and finalize the personnel plan for the town. Uh, a lot of work has gone into this. Debbie and uh, Amy have spent literally hours between the personnel plan and this form. We've, the committee's looked at it two or three times now in suggestions and changes and so on and so forth. And the goal here really is number one to come up with an updated personnel, a personnel plan for all the employees as well as the, an appraisal form where our goal really is to start to formalize a, a personnel appraisal on a yearly basis. Once this, and this will be the form that we'll start using. Uh, there'll be some training sessions and, and so on and so forth, exposure to the employees. But this is the plan we come up with and open at the board to support. We'll support that. If you have anything else you want. Yeah. We covered it. I, covered it I especially like the section where you added on the performance criteria detail. Well, the performance yeah, we really went through it, and, and I give Debbie uh, and Amy a lot of credit. They, they put a lot of time into it, and it, it really provides the supervisor or the supervising board, depending on whether this, this will be for both uh, hourly employees as well as management employees. Right. And it really gives detailed information on the criteria that we want. And with a little bit of training and stuff, we hope that it will provide <coughs> a good tool for the town to use for the employees as well as the employees to have as a, a guide as to what their the expectations are. So it's, it's really uh, come a long way and a lot of work's been put into it. We're happy with it. Yeah, reading through compared compared to some that I've filled out on my own, but I yeah. think you've done a wonderful job with it, and uh, I really appreciate it. Well, Debbie the and I think Amy is the two of them have really put all the work into it, and uh, they really really spent some time and hours and come up with a, what we think is a real real good a real good appraisal form. And obviously, if we put it into effect and we need to tweak it for next year, we'll. We'll do that, but uh, right. it's a great start, and we're looking forward to uh, to getting it on the books and starting the program. I need a motion to approve. I'll give you that motion. I'll second it. Motion has been made and seconded. Bernie, you have a. I was just going to ask: Is there a, a step in the process for reviewing and ensuring that the actual process that's articulated and is in on? been documented is actually being followed and is being followed effectively. Well, this will be the first form we're putting <coughs> into effect. So if, if a board or whatever needs a, an appraisal to do this, then we're going to put it, have a plan in so that on a yearly basis, and we haven't decided exactly how that's going to be done. But the intent is to have each employee to be evaluated by the supervisor and or the board if it's a management person once a year. We haven't determined for sure whether it'll be on the year anniversary or on a yearly fiscal year, but that hasn't been determined yet. But yeah, no, definitely this is the form. We can start once we voted tonight. We can start uh, anybody that any department that wants one can get one. And then we're gonna in the next four two or four, six weeks, 
develop the process for how we're actually going to distribute these to employees and supervisors and have a little bit of a training session because part of the appraisal process that's critical is training of the supervisors and the trainee to the, tra the people who are going to be doing the, the evaluation. So. So we want like all departments to use the program. Right. Oh, yeah, no, it'll be, it'll be every department, including the selectman's office and so on and so forth. So, so. I, I agree with all, all of that, um, but I've worked with performance appraisal systems for most of my professional career, and the issue is you can really have bad forms, there's no doubt about that, right, and right. improved forms helps everybody. But the the kind of the core aspect of performance appraisals is that the, the quality of the data and information that's there it is in fact high quality and the, the concern going back and looking at reviews etc or to trying to defend companies with review processes is that there has to be a step whereby s somebody makes sure that the supervisors are in fact adding integrity to the process rather than taking the easy route because giving somebody essentially a weak performance review, not that I'm assuming that there'll be any um, weak performance reviews given, but that's the toughest part. Yeah, no, that's the part that kind of um, having somebody with oversight of the organization, the, the town's person, numbers of people in the town is small enough mm -hmm. that having kind of some quality assurance right at the top and having supervisors know that that's there um, I think it will strengthen the strength of the process. Well we've, we've spent some time discussing that at our meetings okay. and that's why any appraisal system it's critical that the training of the people who are doing the appraising understand their role and you don't just say oh all my employees are excellent and when you write it off that way right and the per and debbie can add to it but basically the forms will come to the personnel office or officer which is uh, the town administrator yep. she will be she will be reviewing them and making sure that uh, you know she sees issues or problems and how the, the appraisal are being done yep. and it'll be up to her to talk to the supervisor who ever filled out the form. By the same token, if uh, if the appraisal forms come in and there are some issues with an employee, she wants to be aware of that so that she can make sure that the supervisor who wrote the evaluation follows up in a, in a timely, whether it be a three month or a six month yeah. or one month time right. and say, how, how is progress going? Uh, so it's it's gonna take a little bit of time, but that's the goal is, is, is to have a complete system and, uh, and and reviewable if yeah if, if everybody just goes through the motions it, it's it's useless you might as well not even do it so right. and kind of that's the way it's been I'm not even sure how many departments do them currently I know the police do it diligently the chief has got mm -hmm. his form and, and they do it on a regular basis which is and the thing is we need to understand with performance evaluations and, and the police see it more than anybody else probably is. If something goes to court or there's a grievance mm -hmm. or there's a, an issue of poor performance, unless you have a documented <coughs> performance evaluations, uh, you know, you, you're kind of left out hanging. So it's critical, and, and particularly with the police department, it's well, lawsuits, the first things, if, it, if an office is being uh, sued for some malfeasance or misfeasance or whatever, the first thing the lawyers want is, well, let, me, let, let us see his personnel evaluations. If you had, is this a troubled employee or whatever? Less so with, you know, lawsuits are less common with highway workers or water workers or whatever. But, yeah, the idea is to have a complete system and the personnel board is, uh, is, is, doesn't get involved in the performance evaluations per se, but we would expect that the personnel officer will let us know if there's problems or situations, not with individual employees, but with how the system is operating and what we can do to improve it or make it better. Right. It's not, it's important that you get an appraisal, but if you have a, an underperforming uh, employee, that they be given opportunity and uh, suggestions or uh, assistance to improve, and that they be given a specific time period in which to show that improvement. But that has to be documented. That has to be followed up on. 
we have to uh, we have a motion to approve the uh, uh, performance appraisal form it's been seconded all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. thank you great job very well thank done thank you very much thank you to the office the personnel office staff that really did all the work and we'll continue to put a lot more work before we get the plan itself uh, finished Okay, new business number two, review and approve state ethics disclosure forms for Jesse Massey and Charles Hazen. Labor Council Joe Fair has advised that town employees who hold multiple appointments in public safety positions need to file disclosures pursuant to Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 268A, Section 20F. There are two employees who are requesting to be reappointed to their various public safety positions. Jesse Massey is a dispatcher and a reserve patrolman. Charles Hazen is a full-time patrolman and a call firefighter. The disclosure forms are attached in order for Mr. Massey and Mr. Hazen to work in these positions the board needs to vote to approve the exemption under Section 20F and to authorize Chairman Perry to sign the form. Motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, new business number three. Authorize town administrator to renew the fiscal year 18 MIIA property casualty and workers' compensation insurance and police and fire accident insurance. Debbie is working on the insurance, town's insurance policy renewals. She is asking the Board of Selectmen to authorize her to renew the policies for the upcoming Fiscal 18, fiscal year. Give me the motion, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to uh, authorize Debbie to uh, authorize her to renew the policies for the upcoming fiscal year. All those in favor say aye. 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 And I believe that completes the new business. We have fiscal year 18 reappointments. Uh, I think I'll do it by area. Yes. All of the police department. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll do agricultural and parks and job fishing. Okay. So going through the police department, uh, we have a three year term. Expiration date is June 30th, 2020 for all appointments. We have the appointee is David Sedgwick, Captain, David K. McMullen, Sergeant, Matthew E. Zev, Detective, Robert S. Adams, Patrolman, Charles G. Hazen, Jr., Patrolman, Christopher W. Otani, Patrolman, Patrick M. McEttrick, Patrolman, Robert J. Colby, Jr., Reserve Patrolman, Gavin Forney, Reserve Patrolman, Jeffrey C. French, Reserve Patrolman, Andrew S. Lawrence, Reserve Patrolman, Stephen Levesque, Levesque, Reserve Patrolman, Noah T. Merrow, Reserve Patrolman, Dorothy M. Tobin, Assistant to the Chief, Slash Matron, Lynn M. Neary, Full-Time Dispatcher, Slash Matron, Mark Pelletier, Full-Time Dispatcher, Sherry A. David, Lead Dispatcher slash Matron. Christopher Cassidy, Reserve Dispatcher. Jesse Massey, Re Regular Reserve Dispatcher. Keeper of the Lockup, Scott A. Dumas. Give me a motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. 
Motion has been made and seconded to approve the police department reappointments for fiscal year 18. All those in favor say aye. 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 We have Agricultural Commission, a three-year term ending June 30th, 2020, for Jeanette Loring and George Pachenka. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the Agricultural Commission reappointments. All those in favor say aye. 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 Fox and Recreation Committee, three-year term ending June 30th, 2020. For Ryan Gallant, Michael Quinn, Kurt Anan, Michael Killian. Give the motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the three appointments. All those in favor say aye. 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 We have Shellfish Constable Deputies. Three year term, no, one year term, ending June 30th, 2018. For Stuart Dalzell Jr., William Demento, Fred Hardy. Give me a motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. <clears throat> Motion has been made and seconded to approve the reappointment of Shellfish Constable Deputies. All those in favor say aye. 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 Historic District Commission, Historical Commission. Our one year appointments for June ending June 30th, 2018. For Sarah Bork, Mike Harney, Barbara Breaker, John Cardillo, and Frank Todd. Give the motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. That takes care of the fiscal year 18 reappointments. We have minutes from the April 24th. And from May 22nd. I'll give you a motion on April 24th, Mr. Second. We have a motion to approve the minutes for April 24th, Selectman's meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 We have May 22nd. Second. Motion has been made and second to approve the minutes for the May 22nd Board of Selectmen meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Let me get reorganized here. We have announcements. The Northeast Mosquito Control District is conducting aerial helicopter spraying on coastal marshes to control mosquitoes. The spraying will take place during the daytime hours through June 10, 2017. Attention all Korean War veterans who served in Korea. The Eastern Essex Veterans Services District is issuing the Korean Ambassador for Peace Medal. Please contact the Veterans Office at 978-356-3915 or K Tyler, one word, at E E S S E X Vets, one word, dot com by email. Uh, Independence Day celebration on the Town Common Saturday. June 24th, 2017. The Children's Parade starts at 8.30 a.m. at the VFW parking lot and proceeds to the Town Common for awards. Races, food, and music start at 9 a.m. Information on the Pine Grove School Project is available on the town's website at www.townofraleighoneword.net. The town has the following vacancies. Conservation Commission, one seat. Fence viewer, three positions. L wood, lumber, and bark inspector, 
Zoning Board of Appeals Associate, three seats. Parks and Recreation Committee, one seat. Deputy Shellfish Constable, two positions. For more information on these positions, please contact the Selectman's Office at 948-2372. The Raleigh Food Pantry is in need of donations. Donations can be left at the Raleigh Public Library. The Food Pantry is open on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and on Thursdays from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Is there a motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman? Second. Motion to adjourn has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you for attending.